Find the barrister. Doesn't he know General Turnbull is coming? Upstairs in his study. You know how he gets after his niece visits. He hates her, and she feels the same. Some family. Sounds like mine. It's trash if you ask me. Okay, now I hear you. regarding the Danforth Holding Company. They're only a month late, and they've been good for it in the past. Normally, I wouldn't hesitate to invent a plague and fetch a complaint against them and have all their assets seized. But they have a link to the boils, and they, as you know, are on the Do Not Touch list. It's hitting a little too close to home. I'm afraid you may have to settle your dispute with them by some other means.
Who are you? I understand your curiosity. I'm strange. I was a baker's apprentice in Dunwall Tower. A friend to Jesse and the little girls. Then afterward, I made my name as a painter. Now, I'm obviously something much greater. If that satisfies you. Because you won't get more. I ought to just kill you. But I'm going to give you a warning for the sake of my sisters. Who were very impressed with you once upon a time. Stay away from me. There are great changes coming, and I'll expect you not to interfere. I have influence in places you won't expect. But as for Arnold Timsch, do what you want. I won't hold a grudge. I'm done with him. Is that who you were looking for? Well, she's a bit of a bitch. And the artwork's hopeless. I know you have your reasons. Thank you for coming, Melissa. <sighs> it's been a hard week, and I get so terribly depressed sometimes. But you always make me smile, even in spite of everything. Thank you, sir. I try. And how is your mother? Or do you mean the situation in the city? I'm not sure I quite understand what I'm doing here. Just listening. Things have been hard. The Lord Regent depends on me to help control the spread of the plague. These aren't easy decisions. This document I carry granting me legal immunity isn't a blessing. It's a burden. Carries so much responsibility. We all depend on you, sir. There you go again. Making me smile. I have an idea. Why don't you stay at the house tonight? I'll be working late, and there's more than enough room in my chambers for a delicate creature like you. Oh, no, sir. I wouldn't want to impose. Oh, it's no bother. We can share a bottle and pass the dreary hours together. I couldn't. My husband will be waiting. Hmm. It's only just occurred to me. The late coach isn't running tonight. It's not my fault. It's the regent. He said to keep it standing by. Uh, just in case I'm needed. But, sir, I live out past the old walls. That's why I needed it. I know. That's why I'm concerned. The plague's headed west this past week. I've heard of weepers on Market Street. Even on Finfic Lane. I'd hate to think of you making that walk alone. But, you know best, I suppose. We all make our decisions. Yes. That's true. Sir, I think it would be my pleasure to stay with you tonight. Good. Then it's settled. I think I'll start the evening with a bath. Until then, feel free to relax. You're off duty for now. Yes, sir. I'll just... relax. Have a drink, maybe. It could be a long night. Everything's all right now.
here. Who sent you? Killing me won't solve anything. This is Arnold. If you happen to awake him while no one is present, I've prepared this for you, to remind you of recent events to help clear your mind and put you at ease. The plague has ended. I have married and will become Prime Minister, just as you always wanted. My sister and brother are both here and doing well. Your last will and testament has been written and approved. We all love you, Mother. Now go back to sleep. Rest. Everything is fine. Got eaten alive at cards. Hmm. What is that horrible stench? <laughs> I can barely breathe. Oh, uh, General Turnbull. Yes, I was expecting you. Uh, please come. Ah, Timsh. It smells like a weeper den. I thought we were secure. And we are. The neighborhood is swept three times a week. Barrister Timsh. By the way, I don't think I ever got your first name. 
What is this? Is this a joke? I am not sure what you find funny about it. Barrister Timsch, this is a letter from the Lord Regent dated a month ago, stating that your building is to be seized by the state immediately due to massive infection outbreak, and that your personal assets are forfeit if you do not comply immediately. A month ago? Are you showing me this to try to convince me that you're above the law? What? Let me see that. This... this is impossible. I, I... Barrister, I am afraid I am going to have to take you into custody. And if I or any of my men contract the plague because of this visit, I'll see that your head rolls. No, no, no. This isn't the right document. This... Get him out of here before he starts bleeding from the eyes. Tell me again what you're this court. Slack, John, it's under quarantine. Boys, John. You always yes, abuse. sir. I'll admit, I didn't think the arrest was going to work. I guess that's why you're calling the shots. under lockdown. Any unauthorized individuals are to be considered suspicious and confronted immediately with lethal force. That's what I say. Down's a legend. We won't take chances. He's gonna beg for death before he goes. They say assassins don't feel pain. They learn how to turn it off. I've been in the butchers eight years. I know what makes a man scream.
The barrister's enemies caught up to him. He's in custody as a plague victim. Here's the will as agreed. That'll do nicely. Perhaps better. But you were promised information. Well, my uncle came under Delilah's spell. He was obsessed with her. Everyone knew she'd been a servant at the tower before she studied under Sokolov. She was a painter, an artist. Beneath my family's class, for certain. My uncle became infatuated. But he looked older, and made us keep candles lit all night. He was afraid of the dark. One night we all went to Waverly Boyles for a seance. It was an amusement. We didn't know what we were doing. I thought only the dead appeared at seances. But suddenly Delilah was in the room with us. My uncle nearly died of terror. She was there, but not there. We saw her as if she was very far away, standing in the old Brigmore Manor, painting at an easel, painting a name. It was your name, Dowd. That's all I know. I hope you find what you're looking for. Tim, she's ruined. He'll rot in Cold Ridge Prison if they don't send him to the flooded district. It's... poetic, I suppose. Maybe I was wrong about you, Dowd. Are you ready to go? Let's go home.